I'm Clint Johnson with Milborn Seeds here with Joel. Joel Peterson with Verde Biotic Earth. So we're looking at a demonstration here of uh, with Landscape Garden Centers downtown Sioux Falls uh, near Sharapa Place. What we've got is a slope that we're seeding basically a fine fescue mix in with uh, some flowers, uh, prairie flower medley mix. And we've got uh, a cocktail in the Finn Hydra Cedar. Joel, why don't you explain just a little bit of, of what we've got in there uh, on your side of the equation. Okay, well with, with my product we're spraying Biotic Earth Black with a blend of Earthbound Scientific Soil Stabilizers. Uh, the Biotic Earth Black is a blend of 60% peat moss, 40% straw and flax fibers along with mycorrhizal inoculants and some different growth stimulants that will add micronutrients to the soil. What we're really trying to do <coughs> with, with my material is add the proper amount of organic material back to our site. And the organic material is going to do a great job of holding air, holding water, and also providing a place for, for nutrients to be stored for the plants to, to uh, uptake and, and digest as they start establishing and recolonizing the site. Okay. One of the things we've added uh, as well, Joel, and it ties in with some other studies you've been involved with, is a sustained organic fertilizer. We've been specking more and more of that uh, in conjunction with uh, Biotic Earth. In situations where we've got tough soil, we need vegetation as fast as we can. And as you can see on this site, we, we've got uh, soils that have been just really heavily worked over through the construction process. Um, you know, the soil thankfully was capable of growing weeds, which means we, we do have some microbial activity here. Um, but we know that to get our, our uh, fine fescues and the, and the flower mix established as fast as we can, we needed to, to give it a lot more. So we've got sustain, I believe it's the 464 or the 824 in here. That rate would be at 10 pounds per thousand square feet. Joel, what's our rate of the biotic earth in here? Rate of the biotic earth is 3,500 pounds per acre. Okay. Um, that's going to give you a layer of organic material in the surface of your soil approximately three-eighths of an inch thick on average. Okay. So we're also using um, the typical application rate on the earthbound scientific is one half pound per bag or 35 pounds per acre. Earthbound Scientific is a blend of a low-level anionic polyacrylamide um, and some guar-based tackifiers. Um, it, essentially, what that what that blend does is it will actually physically bind the soil fines together with the peat moss that we're spraying onto the slopes. That'll aid in in creating pore space in your soil. So on heavily compacted soils, it'll actually open it up a little bit more and and allow for air and water exchange when your plants are establishing. Gotcha. Well, once they're done hydro seeding, we're going to uh, be applying the American Excelsior uh, Curlex blankets over the top. In some of the area here, we do have uh, Recyclix TRM that's also going to get blanket, uh, the Curlex placed over the top and stapled down. This whole site with the slope we've got uh, and, and just this exposure to, let's see, it's about uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. We're going to have pretty significant exposure from about noon on through the rest of the day. So this is going to get blasted pretty good with heat. But we also have a nice slope. So I can see that Curlex being very, very helpful from a moisture retention standpoint, keeping our ground cool, as well as the erosion control characteristics. Absolutely. I always recommend the use of a blanket or hydraulically applied mulch in the right circumstances uh, as a cover for my material uh, because peat moss is prone to desiccation. So in, in and of itself, it does not provide any erosion control uh, properties like a wood fiber or a, a straw blanket will or a wood fiber mulch. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's always good to cover it. It'll help thermal regulation. Um, it'll help hold the material in place and it'll, it'll also help with, with moisture retention. So there's, there's nothing but good reasons to go ahead and use, use the different BMPs that you guys are selling in your projects. Um, I like to tell people to think of my material as, as really, really, really highly organic topsoil that you'd want to protect like all the other soil on your site. Okay. Well, it's our hope here with the right moisture and, and temperatures to see some vegetation within, uh, I'm going to say, a one to three week time frame. Again, very moisture uh, dependent. But we, I think we've got a great start here. Absolutely. I think it's going to be a fantastic install. The green grass on the other side is a chair.